Hi, I'm Rohan Sharma from uh, JLL. I am uh, based out of Bangalore and I lead the Life Sciences Vertical for India uh, along with a couple of seniors in my team. So, uh, in India today, uh, there are two parts. One is, of course, healthcare and the other one is uh, labs. Uh, we have an established infrastructure from a healthcare and hospitality stand standpoint. We've got, uh, we've got key players who've, who are growing in, in the country. We've got MNCs, we've got Indian hospitals who have grown uh, uh, by huge numbers post-COVID, uh, which is one part, uh, which of course we take care, you know, and we assist them. But there is another part, which is with respect to uh, labs and testing, right? Uh, a lot of the pharma companies across the world uh, do not look at India today as a uh, lab testing or an R&D standpoint. We are known for IT R&D, right? But we are not known for uh, life sciences R&D. And that is something that uh, we are developing. It is the growth sector. There are products from a real estate standpoint which are getting developed in the country today who will cater to this demand. And uh, this is a message to uh, most of the life sciences company and pharma companies who are present uh, in India already to look at India from a uh, lab and testing standpoint. Uh, we are there and we are creating the uh, pathway for that. So, uh, <clears throat> uh, purely from an infrastructure standpoint today, uh, there are pockets in the country. Uh, if you look at Mumbai, it is a testing uh, lab market, less of an IT health. Uh, you look at a Bangalore, it is uh, uh, it is the uh, it is the IT and uh, the technical aspect of uh, labs uh, doing their IT operations. You know, companies like uh, GSK or Teva, uh, Li Lilly, all have their GCCs in the country. There is a huge growth of an impetus of these GCC to set up operations in the country. Uh, if you look at Hyderabad today, uh, is a pure R&D, dominated by Indian. Uh, R&D firms, right? So from an infra standpoint, we are reaching there, we are growing. Uh, there is still knowledge that needs to come in. Uh, we are growing the expertise. There are funds who are uh, willing to invest in the country from a lab perspective, which has not been the case earlier. Uh, it's only been in certain pockets, but there is an increase in petis and the infrastructure will grow. Uh, in the due course of time. I think it's great and I, I spoke about it uh, during my, you know, uh, uh, when I spoke over there as well. Uh, I think the key discussion today was the public-private uh, partnership, right? There were people who were uh, happy, there were people who were not happy, right? But the good part in all of this is because of what COVID has done and how we've emerged from there, we've had an example of public-private partnership, which is a successful example. Uh, we have reached a step and we have to reach the next level, right? And such events actually create the commotion which is required uh, for us to go to the next level, right? And I think it's a, it's a great platform. It's a great platform for people to uh, start looking at the healthcare industry. For leaders, public and private, to join hands and start taking it to the next level. And I think that's, it's a great initiative from you from the government and uh, we are at the right place in India's history uh, uh, today. So, good stuff, very good stuff.